So on and off for the past, uh, let's say, five years, I've been dealing with a pretty, uh, pretty annoying, oh God, I just remember that I have a flat spot. Ugh, that's the worst. Uh, a pretty annoying uh, condition that progressively gets worse, makes uh, my life definitely a whole lot crappier. Um, though it's only physical ailment, it's not like, you know, I'm struggling with anything super crazy, but uh, I get chronic kidney stones, and I'm not necessarily sure why, but I do have a theory now, but this, uh, this condition has caused me to get three surgeries, I now have to have my third surgery October 1st, uh, and what happens is basically I get like a really gnarly bladder stone that becomes much too big to like uh, pass, right now it's about the size of a gumball, this is my third one this size, and uh, there's nothing really I can do about it. Uh, these seem to not be caused by my diet or, um, you know, anything that I can necessarily control. They have no idea why I keep getting them. But at this point in time, I've passed over 30 kidney stones. Uh, this is my third oversized bladder stone. And basically, it feels like, you know when uh, you have to pee really bad, but you can't go yet, like you're holding it for whatever reason? Imagine that feeling, but it gets more and more intense throughout the day. And then whenever you finally do pee, it fucking hurts. Like, it, like, legitimately, like, stings. Now, I've never had a uh, STD, uh, knock on wood. But I imagine it's something similar to that. Uh, so, uh, today, I'm going to go get a catheter thing put in. It's like a camera. I don't even know if it's necessarily called a cath catheter. It's called a thyroposcopathy whatever the hell they call it. But anywho, uh, it's about as thick as a pen and they stick it up my wiener and it sucks really bad. And I thought I talked to doctors out of not having to do it this time, but they're like, we don't know, maybe something's happened since the last time we looked in there. So I have to get it. Definitely not stoked on that. Could be worse though. Uh, there could be no technology to actually fix the surgery. So at least I have that going for me. So basically it's a time bomb every single day. I have a very finite amount of time to try to skate and do some tricks. The more I skate, the more I move around, the more painful it gets. It's just the bladder stone just moving around in there, scraping everything up, causing me to pee more and more blood. Uh, this morning, my blood was, uh, this morning, my pee was pretty yellow, pretty normal, and that will progressively get crappier. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with the day. Hopefully, I'll still be able to film videos with me in them. I remember last time towards uh, the end, I, I, did, I really couldn't skate. And since uh, I'm two months out of surgery, Hopefully I get the surgery before it starts getting too bad. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to selfie some shit today and see what we can get. Please ignore my flat spot. I did that yesterday, evidently. I'm just gonna do a bunch of manual tricks to warm up. It's usually the easiest way to do this.
Go look at him. Okay. I didn't touch, so even if I did touch, I didn't touch. All right, honestly, I saw that little mango sash. I'm already coming close to the end. I'm gonna try to push through it. I wanna skate the down route for a little bit, see if I can, I don't know, just do some normal stuff on it. Get some rail skating in, cause I'm trying to get better at that, but since I'm so half-assed right now with skating, it might be in vain to try to get better at skating rails, but I'm gonna try anyways, it's real fun. But it is square, so I am battling that fact. That trick's dumb, so I'm not even gonna bother. I mean, no, but yeah. Last time I was here and I was doing this, I was doing it like literally every try. I know that's a crappy excuse, but I know I can do it. That's like why I want to walk away because I felt comfortable last time. Ugh, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta cut your losses. I'm gonna actually walk away from this one. Fuck it. I'm gonna do a quick Bennett grind on the flat bar and then try it down here. Because Bennett grinds have been working lately. All right, that's two Bennett's on the flat bar. Hopefully that'll give me the false confidence to believe I'm gonna do this first try. Still up here so much. Like I cannot get out of my head. Like this pain's creeping up on me and it's getting so distracting and I'm just like, oh, like subconsciously using it as such an excuse to not try this. But never mind, I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna do it right now. It's 
That's all it took. All right, I'm gonna try shove it out because it's in my head. I feel like I can do them now. Yeah, that song got it in me today. That's that's painful. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna play with this king rail. Check those stones up a bit. Okay, so I'm kind of over sacking, but I am gonna do a couple more tricks on this rail that I forgot to do. Uh, likelihood of sacking this rail. Well, actually I took that back because I thought it was impossible for me to sack that little kink rail, so. That, uh, maybe that broke my bladder stones up so they don't have to do the surgery, I don't know. That sucked though, it caught left testicle and a little bit of, a little bit of shaft, didn't feel great, but could have been a lot worse. Definitely had to sit down for a second. Um, yeah, do more tricks.
So here comes the first pee of the day. End of skating for me. Nothing I can do about it. After the first pee, I'm asked out. I held off as long as I could. Fuck it. I'm trying to like hype myself up because they're about to put the camera inside of me. And it like, it sucks so bad. Like they try to put some numbing gel in there and it doesn't do anything. It actually like burns when they first put it in and then it doesn't really numb it at all. So really not looking forward to this. I'm just trying to like hype myself up like, you know when you're trying a trick that you're scared of and like one of the ways they deal with it is like whatever screw it I'm just gonna slam I'm just gonna go for it whatever like I'm trying to get that mentality to like go get this thing stuck inside of me I'll try to film it so you can see how thick it is but it's like it's like a little bit thicker than a pen and it's like it goes far in you like it's like it goes like a foot in you and it tapers wider as it goes in it's a oh god like you've been talking about like my hands are drenched super not fun not stoked on this but uh, yeah, they have to go in there and make sure that, you know, the stone's where they think it is, blah, blah, blah. Make sure there's nothing weird, any abnormalities or anything like that. So I thought I'd talk to them out of getting this part of this, the, the treatment uh, and just go straight into surgery. But they're like, nope, we gotta go in there and look at it. So yeah, here we go, getting hyped, okay. It's like I'm already in pain from skating earlier. So it's like, I probably shouldn't have skated before I came to this procedure, but it was supposed to be at 9 a.m. and they pushed it back. So there's a skate park right down the street. Of course, I'm gonna go skate it. I'm sweating. Okay, here we go. This is about to be super fun. I can't show you what's going on down there because I'll definitely get demonetized, but that's the camera. It's over there. I wonder if GoPro has any stock in this. Look how good that fish eye is. Like that right there. What you're seeing is like the follicles or like the little little hairs on the edge of this tarp right here because it's sitting right there it's actually that light right there is the end of it that's what it's looking at pretty uh but that but that lens will make my kickflips look pretty big but uh, my me this was supposed to be at 2 30 and it's like five now so like all that waiting my anxiety is put up so far past the point of being anxious that i'm just like almost numb but now that I'm in here, they just squirted the numbing gel in me, which burns, by the way. Not fun. Um, not bad, but like, you know, you, you think it's going to be numbing. It, it takes a second for it to numb. If you're about to get this, I'm sorry if I'm scaring you. It's not. No, it sucks. I'm not even going to try to church it up, dude. This sucks. Um, yeah, they're going to give me a bladder flush, too. So they're going to run all that fluid into me through what I can only assume is some sort of hose. Uh, yeah, this is not sick and just think this isn't even the operation um the operation itself i remember not being too too anxious going in for it but waking up you're really anxious because like you know how bad it's gonna hurt the first like however many times you pee like it is a nightmare bring you to your knee is bad the first time i peed after the first time i had this surgery um like they were like yeah you like you need a nurse with you or whatever and like i was like no no, no i'll be fine and like no you need a work nurse with you like it's really painful and i was like yeah like i pass kidney stones all the time and then i remember like the first time i went to push to like pee into the toilet my legs gave out gave out and like i like hit my head on the toilet like it was a nightmare just like peed blood everywhere so uh, how's your day comment below <laughs> four hours that's how long i was in there it took four hours for all that shit to finally get done that was awful so i didn't notice this last time and i don't know if this is it happened last time and i didn't pick up one or it didn't happen last time but i'm assuming it's because i told him that i had that injury where i sacked my board and i needed stitches on my taint and i thought oh maybe that's why i'm having trouble like you know pushing out my urine so he's like really digging around in there and let me tell you that there is no way to describe what that feels like having someone being like a foot up your wiener moving that thing around and it's like pushing on your bladder and like it feels like you're like it feels like you're shitting yourself out your dick like it feels like a nightmare uh, super uncomfortable but anyways um i feel it in my stomach i can like my stomach's like moving from the inside like it's like it's like a baby kicking so uh yeah that's for everyone who's ever given birth that's crazy that's a crazy feeling that you have to feel uh, obviously it's not the exact same, but I think I have a rough idea watching my belly like move from the inside. I was like, what is going on? Anywho, um, super painful. That guy, that doctor insisted that he do it because he was just like, listen, I know that this sucks. Cause I gave him my, uh, 
you know, my grievances with having it done again. And he was just like, listen, I know it sucks, but I'm pretty good at it. I'll make sure that I will be the doctor to do it. Uh, and he was the doctor to do it. And in all honesty, it was a little bit less uncomfortable, a little bit less painful, a little bit less awful than last time. But it is still more painful, uh, more uncomfortable, and more awful than a lot, a lot of things. It's just like knowing that it's about to happen. Yeah, so quick update. Uh, it's been a couple days. I ended up being able to skate uh, the day, two days later. Um, so I think, I don't know, they, you know, I've been on this new medicine to help me uh, deal with, it's not a painkiller or anything. It's something that, it does something to my prostate or bladder. It does some something. Whatever it is, it does something. And it makes uh, definitely a lot less painful. So I am actually skating again. Uh, while I'm recording this, I have already four or five other videos filmed with like a ton of skating, uh, going out with the pal guys and stuff like that. Again, me skating, everyone else skating. So this, uh, hopefully I'll be able to hold this up until October, which is when my operation is, and I'll be able to continuously put out content. I don't think this will put a hiccup in my upload schedule of, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and now possibly Fridays. I might do six days a week for a little bit just to see how that goes. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, thanks for all the, the, the wishes and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I, I, I get a lot of messages being like, Hey man, like real sorry for what you're going through. Cause I've talked about this, uh, on my Instagram, just not as much on my YouTube, but anywho, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're at the end a month and a half more to go and we'll be, uh, we'll be home free. We'll be, uh, skating at a hundred percent again. So yeah.